Hello, uh, my name is uh, Brant, and today is the uh, 26th day of July 2020. We have already uh, been going through uh, this whole thing since starting June 20th. So I'm sorry, 21st, the, uh, the dance through the skies with the planets. And what is occurring that simply is that the, the they're having enormous effect upon us. If we are we are aware of that, um, I know that uh, that I'm aware of it. Um, and some of my signs simply is that I'm uh, not able to sleep at night. Um, uh, really tired uh, when I get up. I sleep longer because I haven't slept complete uh, time wise. That is a complete. You know, wake up during the middle of the night per se and uh, this has affected me um, so I don't get up as early as I normally get up uh, in the mornings and I'm sluggish um, I ache I'll, I ache different places uh, one day maybe a certain place uh, in my back uh, even though I have not done any strenuous work I feel as though I've you know been lifting something or just moving around tremendously um, I I ran into someone a couple of days ago in a uh, health food store and a lady was uh, asking for help and I knew what was going on even though the the store owner I don't think understood and shared with her that there's uh, the planets are are retrograding and um, you know because she said that she's not encountered this type of just don't have any energy uh, some would say no mojo uh, no motivation to do anything um, and I think we're all, I think those of us are aware of that um, are trying to still pursue and seek truth um, one of the things I do is um, I take valerian root, uh, 500 milligrams, uh, before I go to bed, one pill that is, um, and then I take um, another thing that actually helps me with. Uh, I feel I've been feeling depressed, um, and there's there are thoughts coming in my head uh, that you know are very detrimental to me. Um, and I have to combat that. I have to stop that. And so I've been taking um, uh, this particular formula by um, Dr. Morris called happiness. Take a couple a day, two or three a day. Uh, has helped me. Um, and there are other ways to actually deal with this, but I'm not, I'm not able to because the, there's been enormous heat here where I live at. It's been basically just about every day. It's been over 100 degrees, not or either heat index to 109 to 108 to 10. And I also have an issue with simply is that you just can't go out into the ground at nine o'clock in the morning and um, the ground is wet. Uh, and there I have issues here in the South that are what we call fire ants. And so you can't really go barefooted uh, for a long period or else you will have bites uh, all over you. And um, so, this is that was what I use is what I call happiness. I also noticed that uh, I tend to um, I don't tend to get upset with people, um, I, you know, I, but I tend to get upset with different things that don't work function right. Um, I get angry. I fly off the uh, you know I just fly off the handle. Um, I share these things simply is to to, to be to be real. Uh, to share with you also that uh, that you're encountering these, these things uh, it's important that you um, understand it simply is that we're um, there's there's two um, pillars uh, there are many names for them one is severity one is mercy um, you can go to one extreme being severe and the other would be mercy but you need to be balanced 
uh, in knowing how to deal with people uh, in certain situations. And if you get to the extreme pole or the one or the other, uh, it keeps you off what I call the narrow path. Um, a narrow path is what Jesus spoke of. Uh, that the other two paths are what we would call the wide road uh, where most people are at. Um, and it's, it's not going to get any better as, um, as things get, and I don't mean to be negative, but I mean it simply is that as this thing continues to go on till, um, to the winter solstice, uh, it's going to be even harder uh, on us. And um, try to, uh, when these things happen, do not beat up on yourself, is because sometimes that's what I tend to do. Uh, I tend to be a perfectionist, um, trying to be perfect. Um, and that is, tends to be a very critical spirit in, in ways to simply leads me to be more critical of myself. And so it, I don't need to do that. So I have to give myself what I call mercy or grace and saying, no, you just, you fail this time. You just keep, you just keep moving forward. You just, you, you have to keep moving forward and do better next time. Um, so I, I wanted to just basically kind of come clear that, uh, that also that many of you are, as I have been in the past, uh, I've been politically involved. I, I know certain things are going on. I understand conspiracy theories. I've talked about them in the past. Um, but I don't, I don't want to give my energy to those things anymore because it's not worthy of putting my energy out there anymore. There's no sense in combating this anymore. Um, most people are not going to come to this. Uh, again, that doesn't mean that I don't stop sharing. It just means simply is that um, people pretty much have already made up their mind. Uh, many have made up their mind about the issue with the mass. Uh, they're going to go along with it. So uh, there's, you know, there's ways of combating that in some ways. Um, we know that's wrong. We know that simply is that there is, this is a fake, this is a fake deal. This whole thing is all fake. Uh, is to, um, to get people to be in fear. And those that rule this world use that fear because that's energy to them. And so they keep playing us along and along and along and simply as they, they steal energy from us and rob from us. And so we, we can't do this. We must stop combating and fight. Uh, many of us, many of people think <clears throat> as they continue to fight this, they think that they're doing the good work. When you're not doing the good work, you are actually hyping and making it worse. You're manifesting what we don't want in this world. Uh, we want to live in peace and love one another, all colors, uh, not against hatred towards one another. Um, this is what we long for. This is what we we love to have here. But combating it is you're putting your energy and your energy can be used elsewhere to basically discover the truth and to be calm and to um, do not be caught up in all this whirlwind of stuff that's going on. That's what the media is all about, is to stir you up and to get you upset and to put your energy in all these things when it simply is a lot of it's just all is fake. And, and and if you're putting your energy in these wrong sources and you're putting it, you're looking at this way over here, you, you're, you got your eyes off of what you really want to do here is that simply is that we, we want those who are on the middle path, a narrow path, we don't need to be looking to the left or the right here and, and get battling. And I'm, 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 I'm guilty of this uh, in the past uh, and guilty sometimes still, I struggle with it. 
I'm not saying I'm perfect, um, but I encourage people to um, see what's going on, understand it, move on, and to discover yourself. This is the time, especially this time now that many people are out of work and at home. Um, this is a time you can use to uh, discover more about astrology, uh, to dig deeper, why I'm here, uh, why, why, why did I, why am I on this planet? What purpose do I have? Uh, what is my purpose? Um, and so, and then I think it's key also to, um, when I do encounter people, uh, I, I treat them with kindness and smile to them. I think that that's a form, it's a very simple thing, even to speak to someone, very just to speak to someone these days is important. Um, when you speak to someone, your, your energy is saying, I care about you. Uh, um, I don't walk by you. I'm concerned about you in a very simple way, even by a smile. These simple gestures are so vital um, for each of us. And they're vital for us that are on this path to encourage one another. I think that encouragement is critical for each one of us. Um, I feel that I had the gift of encouragement, and so I try to encourage others. Uh, but yet, I like to be encouraged too. So there's, you know, there's a give and take here. Um, you know, if one wants, to, as someone would say, simply if you want to love someone, you have, you do that. But you also want to reciprocate. You want that bond there. You want something that's, that reciprocates and um, on a deeper deeper uh, meaning in life. Um, and it's critical that we do these things. It's critical. It's not simply uh, giving money always to someone. That's not it. Uh, many times simply as people just want, they don't, they, they're, they're, all, they're, they're themselves are so um, deeply involved in their struggles in life, folks. All of us are going through difficult times at this point in our lives. And it's critical to dig deep within ourselves and saying, I can do a little gesture here. I can share. I can do something that I don't, you know, just, just because I got kindness to others. After all, we are commanded to love one another. And this is one way of loving one another. It's not simply saying the word love. Um, love itself is a, it has to be a verb. And so it has to be an action that takes place. Uh, and love is simply on a different level and depending on what the relationships with other people. But uh, you can build just simply saying, you know, just again, like I say, just this kind gesture just to speak to someone. Um, I know that when I'm in the grocery store, people are walking and you can see the discouragement in their eyes. You can see that they're depressed. The life to them is not worth living anymore. You can see that. It's so critical for us to, um, to use our gifts, uh, not to just walk by and do the easy thing, but to speak to speak to someone that way. Who knows? It may open up something. Uh, it also may brighten their day. I know it brightens my day when someone speaks to me or someone opens the door for me or I, you know, here, take this as a quarter here. No, don't, you don't have to pay me back. You know, just little things like that. And it's not for, it's not for this goody goody thing. That's not what this is about. Um, is simply showing kindness in a world that basically has, has lost its way, uh, has, is no longer able to show love because in many ways, many people were not loved as kids by their parents. Uh, they never could perform or not, they were not able to 
um, to feel love in a at home where you're supposed to be in a protective area. Uh, instead, there was the opposite. And with that, many people are longing to be loved and to be feel safe. Um, and it's it's and so they the, the, that world they've lived in, they manifest that in their lives also. They 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 they've never been on the other side. Do you see? It doesn't hurt, you know. It doesn't hurt to give a, a glass of cold water for someone who's thirsty. It, it, these are simple gestures, but yet they have profound and deep meaning. It is critical that we do these things in a world that is hurting. It is critical. As we are commanded that we are the light, we are the light of the world. And it is critical that we be that light and that we show love, uh, mercy. Um, again, like I say, just little simple gestures, waving at people, um, speaking to people. How's your day? Um, then that opens the door. Um, I've seen a big change. I'm 60 years old and I worked in industry and business and such and such. Even when I was in school, in college and such and such, we would, we would speak to one another. Um, but when I go to places to business nowadays, it's, it's a completely different world that people don't hardly even speak to one another. It's no, the, the gestures are gone. The, you, you don't even shake hands anymore. Um, and, and you're, in many ways, you're forbidden to even hug one another uh, in schools as even boys to girls in a very innocent manner. Um, it's, just, it's so sad. It's a different world. It's just a different world. Um, but anyway, I, I, this, this video is to encourage you to do those little things, those kind gestures. It doesn't tell, cost you that much. And, you know, I know that I have the opportunity to, um, there's a little thing that happens here where I'm in a small town that um, you can go to these little food banks, little things, these little boxes they put out so that you can give food to other people. They don't have to know who it is. You don't have to know who it is. Uh, it's just simply a can or two of certain products that someone you can share with. It doesn't hurt, you know, to do these things. Uh, so I, I encourage you to do these things. And to lay off what I call fighting the new world order, um, you know, the best way to fighting it is simply us loving and caring for one another. That's vital um, because it is an action. It's an action that takes place. So I wish you a great day today and may all things work out for you. And then you continue to seek truth and you will find it. Thank you.